Let's get right to it. Let's begin this mission. And start building some collectors right away. Energy early is going to be key on this mission, so um, I don't want to overbuild too fast, but I do want to get these uh, these reactors online. You'll notice uh, a number of new features as we play this mission. Things that have been uh, added to this build. called for. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the game while I get some, uh, do some planning here. Let's, uh, these walls are going to decay, so I know we're going to need um, some, um, some defensive units over here, which is true, but I'm, I might also be wise to invest in, uh, in some energy production early, because I've got a little while before those walls completely decay. Let's take a quick look around while these things build. Let me pause the game again. We'll see on this mission that I've got some uh, some bad guys down here. I've got some nests that are going to produce some runners. Got some emitters. Got some digitalis. Got some walls, which will probably provide some delay in, in the expansion of uh, of the enemy. Got a central area here that's going to produce uh, anti creeper. So that's interesting. Uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a bit. And we've got some uh, ore deposits scattered about. You'll also notice in this build that uh, some units are locked. That's now supported by the game, so only one command node can be dropped. No Berthas. Uh, bombers are gone, so we, we can't use bombers to drop anti-creeper, but there's going to be a new anti-creeper dispensing unit we're going to play with here momentarily. And no siphons, because there's no crystals on this map. So let's resume. Let's get her uh, get her energy up and up and running. Probably should have should have built a few less uh, reactors to start with, but it's okay. I think I'll survive. I know I'm also going to need a mortar to keep this uh, pool, this ever increasing pool of uh, of creeper kind of push back down. Now let me let me pause again and, and think about what, what I need to do here. Um, I need plenty of energy. I'm going to need to deal with this um, this mass of creeper that's just going to burst out of these walls. I need to get some um, ore production going. And it wouldn't hurt if I, if I built some relays quickly to rush through this dungeon and to come down here and stop the advance of this creeper in Digitalis before it penetrates too many of these walls. So I've got a number of uh, conflicting goals here and I have to I have to, to kind of pick and choose what I'm going to do here. So let's go ahead and uh, I know we're going to need some more pulse cannons. I know I, I need more energy as well so let's go ahead and invest in that. And I'm going to pulse the game again because I want to go ahead and, and push forward kind of aggressively with these relays. And I'm going to run right down here into this anti-creeper. You'll see why in just a moment. Okay, that looks looks decent. Yeah, let's uh, let's also run in this direction. Okay, that look, looks good. Not, not too shabby. Uh, There's just no good spot to, to connect everybody, so that'll do for now. Okay, let's resume. I can tell you right now, that's pretty dense stuff. Um, more than one mortar is going to be called for. Alright, let's see if uh, these uh, 
reactors are, uh, are about to finish. That's it's looking better. Okay, excellent. Build a few more. About to lose containment on these walls. Let's, um, let's go ahead and put down some ore mines. Take advantage here. Okay. Need to get some pulse cannons built. This digitalis is um, not going to do anybody any favors. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to build a sprayer down here in this mass of uh, anti-creeper. Let's see if I can get by with building another one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause again because I want to explain these sprayers. Sprayers uh, will will fire anti-creeper blobs in the nearby vicinity. Uh, and that's useful by itself, but beyond that they will uh, they can also collect anti-creeper. So they can fire it, and then any excess, they can kind of pull it back into their ammo reserves. They also have the option of collecting anti-creeper, and if they have more than half a tank full, they can dispatch some of that excess anti-creeper back to the command nodes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to park a, a sprayer here in this, in this pool of anti-creeper, which is being emitted by this friendly uh, emitter, and it's going to collect this anti-creeper for me and dispatch it back. it's going to dispatch it back as ore so we can take uh, take advantage of it okay things are not proceeding the way I really want them to I better I better really buckle down here and uh, concentrate these walls have failed if I could uh, possibly move forward and get this guy nullified I could redirect uh, the resources fighting that creeper uh, to the front lines down here. Okay, let's move. Let's just move in here. Okay. These runners are also crawling around on this digitalis. They're coming out of these nests and uh, they get too close. They, uh, they stun my units not pick up excess anti-creeper. Let's just let it flow freely from, from this guy. Notice this guy's done an excellent job of collecting the anti-creeper from this central little um, island and dispatching it back as ore, which in turn gets turned back into anti-creeper and, uh, and then sent out to the, uh, to the sprayers that want it. Okay, so... Uh, uh oh, not, not good. Okay, a lot to keep track of here in this mission. Um, if I can sneak forward, if I've got the resources to get close enough to get a, a nullifier in place, build some more reactors. Snipers. Snipers, sprayers, pulse cannons, mortars, um, you need it all on this mission. Got some ore over here I'm not, uh, not pulling in. This creeper from this emitter is going to sneak around the back here if I'm not careful. Um, let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay. Push forward here.
Notice we've got different sizes of uh, of these uh, runners. Uh, some big ones that are just hard to kill. Uh, some little fast ones and some mid-sized ones. Um, just a hodgepodge of those guys. Alright. Finally. Get this cleaned up and I'll redeploy these weapons uh, to where it counts. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the collection field on most of these uh, of these sprayers. That's, that's useful sometimes. What happens is it, it fires the anti-creeper forward, you get some annihilation, and then it pulls in the excess back into the ammo tanks so that it can be re-fired into the front lines again. In this particular case, I, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so that it allows the anti-creeper to just sort of flow, um, kind of like it is uh, in this area over here. That's advantageous when there's Digitalis nearby because anti-creeper um, really uh, it cuts the uh, ability of the Digitalis to grow. So if I can get shots in on the Digitalis, it won't regenerate. easy target for stunning. Okay. So let's advance. I've got uh, I've got three or four little fronts here. And uh, I've got enough anti-creeper in this area to really make a difference. In fact, I see an opportunity that I'm going to take. Take out two nests. All right, how we doing back up here? Pretty good. Good enough to mostly ignore. Gonna pull some. Uh, some of these units forward It'll be uh, put to use down here. Let's go ahead and bring both those down. Let's bring this mortar down. I'll park him right there. All right, we're making progress now. This rear power zone, I could use it for reactor upgrades, uh, but I've got plenty of space just to build more reactors. Um, I'm going to put a, uh, a strafer on it because we'll be able to use him. Okay. Let's see if we can move in. More units.
bringing these sprayers forward so that they can um, they can continue to uh, to dump uh, anti creeper. Very useful. Snipers we need um, over here. Our remaining nests are center and right. So let's push. about to forget. I have an upgraded strafer, so let's pull him into this fight down here. Looks good. So let's uh, continue our advance. And uh, get in range here. I'll take out this big nest. That'll do right there. out this lower left hand corner then I can pull those forces over and uh, all right good job take him out let's um, put a uh, for there. Let's redeploy this one to the central area. All right, we've only got three of these big boys left down here because no more are going to come out of that nest because there's no digitalis hooked up to it. So if we get our uh, get our sniper, if they come in range of these snipers, um, they get taken out. big mortar here. Okay. Let's redeploy some of these forces.
Okay. Okay, I believe we might pull this off. Send him over here now. is uh, going to be extinct very shortly. Looks good. Um, yeah, that's, that's worth it. Now it's just a matter of redeploying some uh, ample forces. Why not? Let's just call in... Uh, some uh, overwhelming firepower. Send them all in. Um, just as one quick demonstration, there's a little bit of, uh, of anti-creeper left, uh, left hanging around here. Um, I'll show you what happens if we uh, move the sprayer over here and tell, tell him to collect it. Uh, we've we've totally dominated this map. It's just a uh, just a matter of finishing up now. Okay, he's parked here. Let's turn on the enable the collection field. He'll pull in nearby creeper. His ammo charges up, and we will say to dispatch excess, which means anything more than half a tank full, back to the command nodes, where it can be redispatched again as uh, as anti creeper. Now, there's not a whole lot of anti anti creeper left hanging around around here. There's a patch of it up here, so we can go uh, we can fly up here and, and collect the rest. Let's go ahead and do that while we just completely insult this final emitter. Yeah, why not? Let's bring these these sprayers in range. Let them flood the area with uh, anti creeper. So he's landed and he's gonna he's gonna pull in the nearby anti creeper. So so not so much of it goes to waste. Sit right back up here where we have you know a good third of a tank already. All right, let's finish this guy off. It's going to be all she wrote. So while that's finishing up, to recap, we've got a sprayer unit now, which can pull an anti-creeper, dispatch it back to uh, the uh, command nodes. Uh, it can lob creeper on the front lines. Um, we've got wall support added in, similar to uh, Creeper World 1 style walls. We've got unit limit restrictions. Lots of good stuff. One last note before this uh, before this mission mission finishes up. Um, a lot of people have asked, "When's the game going to be released?" You know, I like to I like to say it'll be done when I'm when I'm happy with it. Um, 
and when when it's something I would be I'd be proud to release. I can't promise that's going to be before the end of the year. It's probably not at this point because I've still got too much that I'd like to add to the game. Uh, is it going to be next year? Absolutely. Is it going to be in the first half of next year? Almost certainly. Is it going to be in the first quarter? You know, probably. Um, it's uh, it's not something I've I've written on a calendar and and it's going to happen on a certain day. It's more of how I feel about the game when I've expressed what I need to express in the game and uh, and and feel that it's ready for a first release and for and for public consumption. So that I hope answers some of the questions about when when this game is coming. You can see there there's a lot of game here already, but you can imagine there's a lot more yet yet to add. And um, and I want I want to get to that, and I'm working as hard as I can to. Uh, to, to meet that goal. Anyway, that's a look at another mission. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks.